Okay, so hey guys, so welcome to another installment in my makeup stash series, and tonight I'm going to be talking about blushes. Now, I have kind of a crazy amount of blushes, I would say, um, probably too many that I really need, um, but for some reason I've been really fiending over blushes lately. I've gotten quite a few the past couple of months, and now I just feel like I am very satisfied with my blush clash collection that I really don't need any more. So I'm just going to jump right in, but I just want to slip my slippers on really quickly because I am literally like trying to do this really, really quickly. So I'm just going to start with the ones that are right in my hand right now. And I'm going to talk about my three Makeup Geek blushes in my Z palette. Now, um, I do wear these quite often. I have worn all three of them. So this one is Spellbound, this one is Bliss, and this one is Head Over Heels. Spellbound is like a really beautiful, neutral pink shade, like a really natural everyday color. Bliss is like a peachy, um, everyday peach shade, you know, if you really feel those kind of shades. This is more of a summer blush, but I find I, I wore it a lot, like, this past month. And then Head Over Heels is just a beautiful, like, rosy pink blush that you can wear with, like, more, like adventurous looks. Um, I seem to like gravitate a lot more towards like neutral blushes. I am wearing a very neutral blush today I'm going to share with you soon. Um, but these are really great. I find that they last very long. They're some of my favorite ones already. But these are the only three I own for Makeup Geek because I don't have any more Z palettes to fit any of anything else in. I might pick up more of their blushes in the future but right now I really don't need any more blushes. So those are the first things. Okay let's try and take some of these palettes off the top so I can show you what else is here. So why not show you my um, MAC blushes. So I have picked up three new MAC blushes recently so I have added to my MAC blush collection. So, But the first one is one that I've had for quite a while. It's not bad yet but I just never end up using it because this was the blush I ended up using like every single day. And it's crazy how much I can use a MAC blush and not end up going through it because I had MAC's margin for the longest time but I had to get rid of that finally. I got rid of that like in my last products I've used up video I think or maybe a little bit before that one. I did like get rid of it like a few months ago but this is Pink Swoon. This was like my everyday blush for a long time. This is a really beautiful shade. And then I picked up three of them recently. Um, I got Max Mineralize blush in Warm Soul. I feel like this blush is so popular on YouTube. I feel like every single person owns this blush, but it is a beautiful everyday blush. If you don't own this or if you don't own like NARS is Madly, they're like the two most popular like everyday blushes that I feel like everybody needs to have in their collection. They're just like really great staples to have. If you don't have something that goes with everything, these are these are it. Like this one is great. And then also I picked up um, recently Sun Basque because of um, Stephanie Nicole. She did like rave about this blush and this has been like her favorite blush for a long time. This is one of their um, shimmer blushes but what I love about blushes in general is that like I don't feel like you get like an overly crazy amount of glitter on your face when you use like a shimmery blush like a NARS blush or a MAC blush. I feel like it's just a beautiful sheer wash of color that I really like so definitely been enjoying this one too. And then the last one that I got recently is Melba and this one is a matte powder one. I don't know why I already got like crap on the front of it but I've definitely been enjoying this one a lot too. I have been wearing this quite a bit. I feel like I just want to wear this one every single day because it's like such a beautiful natural finish. So those are the ones that I have from MAC. I'm already like running out of room on my counter for this stuff. Um, and then the, let's just go into, I'm trying to make a little bit of room here so I can show you better. Let's not do that. Um, let's just go into my NARS blushes. So I own two single NARS ones. Let me find the other one for you. I have two single NARS ones because NARS blushes are pretty expensive. They are on the pretty expensive side. MAC ones are like $27, but I did use some gift cards to put towards a couple of MAC purchases, re purchases recently, and Makeup Geek blushes are only $8 a piece. They're really inexpensive, but I try not to get too many NARS blushes, but 
I just felt like one of these was a standard in my collection, the other one I just really wanted to try. This one is Nars's Blush in Amour. I just thought it was a really beautiful, unique color. It's like a burnt pink, but like with some red undertones in it. I don't know, it's just such a beautiful color. And I do wear this um, on, like, you know, like a couple times a month. And it's not my everyday blush, obviously. I don't wear it all the time. But I do find myself really enjoying this when I do wear it. So I really like that. And I don't know if my, like, lipstick is all janky, but I might fix it in a minute. And then the other full-size one that I've just gotten recently is Nars' Blush in Madly, like I said before. Pretty much, like, every YouTuber that I love uh, convinced me to buy this blush. And honestly, if you don't own it, if you want to splurge on a great blush for every single day and, like, don't buy any other blushes, like... I would literally recommend this and maybe like one other blush that I'm going to show you. And those are like the only blushes you really need. Um, this blush is just so beautiful for every single day. I definitely love that. And then I also have a mini one. I don't see the point of like picking up the full size. But this one I think is beautiful. My mom actually ended up purchasing this one. And this is her everyday blush. Because she has like a ton of NARS products that she's gotten now. Me and my sister convinced her to buy NARS rather than Clinique or anything else like that. Um, so I have the mini version of NARS's blush in Deep Throat. I hate the name, but it's such a gorgeous, gorgeous color. It's just like such a beautiful everyday color. And it doesn't have too much pink in it. It is, it is like a peachy pink, but it shows up like really, really natural on the face. So I definitely love that too. And then... I don't know why I never removed the plastic off of there. The most exciting addition to my collection that I will be hauling soon is the NARS Stephen Klein palette that they came out with in collaboration with Stephen Klein. I'm not sure if, NAR if Stephen Klein is like a um, like makeup artist for NARS. I don't know if I sound retarded if I'm like trying to ask like who exactly he is. But I know he came out with a collection earlier than this and now he came out with his own blush palettes. So I recently picked up this palette because it's such a great deal. <coughs> oh, I'm dying, sorry. And you get um, four blushes in here. I am wearing one of them today. I did use this palette for the first time today. So you get the blushes Blasphemy. No, Robotic, Blasphemy, Luster, and Dolce Vita. Um, Luster is like one of their most popular blushes too. And I saw that Jaclyn Hill loves this color, Young Wild and Polish loves this color, so I really, really wanted it, and that's the blush I am wearing today, and I think it's beautiful. Again, a great blush for an everyday blush. I love it. It's definitely gorgeous. Okay, the next blushes I'm going to jump into are my Too Faced blushes. Now, for some reason, like, Too Faced is my favorite brand, but I'm not, like, a huge fan of their blush 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 selection. I just feel like they are kind of lacking in their blush shades still. I mean, I can't believe like some um, companies like Urban Decay, Too Faced, stuff like that. I can't believe they didn't have a full blush collection before like these past few months because I feel like they either like relaunched their blush collection with a bunch of different colors and before that they only had like three colors of another one. And I'm talking about the Too Faced um, Perfect Flush Blush Blushes in Candy Glow. They have two other shades in this, um, but I just thought this was the cutest packaging and I had to have this one. I think it's beautiful. I also got this one off of Too Faced.com where they were giving me like a 20% off code. So I decided to take advantage of it and get one of the Sweetheart's blushes. I've been wanting this blush like forever. I think it's adorable. And then the other two are obviously the newer blushes that they launched um, like a month or two ago. They like came out with all these like um, love themes which I think are adorable. So I got two of the shades. I have um, the Love Flush blush in Baby Love and the Love Flush blush in Justify My Love. I think these are very pretty um, but people are right. They don't last too long. They last about like six hours um, but I think that they're beautiful. Um, Baby Love is a very pretty natural color. I really like this one a lot. And then um, Justify My Love I have worn quite a few times um, when I wear like a pink lip. And I do really like it. I think it is very pretty. And the packaging is like, you know, friggin' adorable. I mean, come on, it's Too Faced. You can't beat their packaging. 
Um, then I also have only one single blush from Kat Von D. But this is one of my all-time favorite blushes. This is the Kat Von D Everlasting Blush in Bellissima. I probably rave about this blush like constantly, but this blush is beautiful. I really hope that she launches more shades, launches more shades in her line because she did like kind of discontinue Wish and a couple of her other blushes and of course I missed the promo on Sephora.com because when Kat Von D discontinues certain things or like put things on sale they go on sale for such a great amount like obviously most blushes retail for like 20 to 30 dollars which hello that's a lot of money I think I pay like 24 dollars for this but I think it's worth every penny her blushes last so, so long. I think my favorite formulas for blush would be Becca, NARS, and Kat Von D. Because hers just, like, don't go anywhere. You barely have to touch it up. Um, I feel like this one is kind of faded now. Even though, like, I did touch it up before I went to my boyfriend's house today. But I just feel like it's, like, a light flush of color right now. But I feel like my other NARS blushes that I have in the full size last, like, all day. And my MAC ones last a pretty long time, too. So those are probably, like, my top four. And then, like, probably Tarte, which I do have a couple of their blushes. And Urban Decay's blushes are great, too. They have a great formula and they last a long time. But we'll get into that when I talk about them. But this is just beautiful. So I really hope she comes out with more shades in these. Um, because I saw that she doesn't really sell, like, a lot of them anymore. I guess they were discontinued. Like, let me know, like, what the deal is with that. And then the last ones in this row, I thought I was, like, making a dent that I'm, but I'm really not, is, like I said, I have the Urban Decay ones. This, these are the Urban Decay Afterglow 8-Hour Powder Blushes, and I have three of them. Um, I fell so hard for this shade that I had to get another neutral shade. So this one is Video. This one's like probably one of my all-time favorite blushes as well, especially for like a nude blush. Probably this and Narzis Madly are like my favorite nude blushes. They're amazing. Um, the Baby Love one can be a little bit flat, but these just give such like a warmth to your cheeks. I love them. I love this blush. And then Kinky is, is just as beautiful. I love this one too. It's like more of a peachy tone color. I love that. I've definitely used these a lot. And then the last one is, of course, a pale pink shade. I always get like a neutral, a peach, and a pink. I mean, hello. This one is Obsessed. And this one is a really beautiful pale pink color. I definitely love that color. I just feel like I have to use these again now. Like, I never use blushes enough that I love. And then I also, I mean, I do. I've used all of these, like, at least once. That's the thing about blushes is that you can't, like, not use them more than once. And then I also have three of the Clinique Cheek Pops. These are, like, probably the only uh, things that I have picked up from Clinique recently other than, like, the Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara. But I obviously, you know, dried that out because I used it, like, every single day. But I do have three of them. I love the packaging on these. So I have Nude Pop, uh, Pink Pop, and Pansy Pop, and these are great as well. The Nude Pop is so natural. This was definitely like my everyday blush for a while. I love it. These are just like the most unique formula. They're like a cream to powder finish, but they're not really a cream. They're like a cream blush hybrid, like a cream powder hybrid. They're just amazing. This one is Pink Pop, and everybody raves about these. These are honestly like some staples in your collection too like honestly like most blushes I'm gonna say are staples in your collection because I love blush so much and this one is pansy pop now the reason why I picked up pansy pop is because I really wanted something that goes with like my purple outfits I know like that's a little crazy but like I do like matching my clothes a lot and I like matching my makeup but I like matching my blushes too and I think that this looks so pretty with like Lime Crimes Faded or Stila's Patina anything that has like a hint of purple in the lipstick I just really love that I loved I liked this one over um the Urban Decay Lavender shade I can't remember what shade that was but I thought that this one was prettier so I picked up that one instead um, then I also have three of the, um, Benefit box blushes. These are probably some of my older blushes, but I did use these a lot, like a lot. So I have three of them right here. 
I have Coralista, which is probably my favorite, and this one's like so raved about on YouTube. It's like an oldie but a goodie for most people. And I did keep the brushes and the plastic in here because I love the brushes that come in here. I use them all, a lot when I use these. So that is that color. I love this color. Then I also picked up Hervana. I just thought it looked adorable. That's why I basically picked this one up. And this one has an angled brush in it. I think it's just so cute, right? I just love the packaging on these. And it comes in that beautiful pinwheel. I just love that. And then the last one is Rockator. I actually was afraid to pick this one up. Um, but I just think it it's so beautiful on the cheeks. And this one has a rounded brush. And this is what the color looks like. And it says rock on there. And it has like the shimmer in it. It is so friggin' pretty. I love that one. And then I also have one drugstore blush here. Um, this is the Milani uh, Tea Rose Powder Blush. I did use this a few times when I first got it. And I think it's really gorgeous packaging. I haven't used it in quite a while though, but I think it's really, really pretty. I definitely need to use this again. Sorry, I realized that I needed to pick up a couple more in the bathroom. I forgot them. So I also have two other drugstore ones. I have two NYX blushes. I have um, NYX Pinched and NYX Peach. It's funny how the peach one is pink and the pinched one is peach. I feel like this one should be peach and this one should be uh, pinched, but whatever. Um, it is a really, really pretty color. It's definitely not peach though. It's like straight up pink. So I don't know why they named it peach, honestly. And then this one is pinch. These were like my go-to blushes before I started like collecting the hell out of blushes. So those are my two next ones. Then I also have three um, hourglass blushes. These ones are definitely more on the pricey side as well, but I was like in this phase where I was kind of obsessed with their blushes. So this is definitely one of my all-time favorites as well. This one is Hourglass in Ethereal Glow. This one is gorgeous on the cheeks. I definitely love this. It just like it gives such a natural pink glow, which is so beautiful. It like literally looks like a glow with from within, which is basically what their products are supposed to do. Then the other one I have is called Diffused Heat. Such a beautiful color. I got this during the vibe sale in like um, April. I can never remember what the date is. Um, but this one is a beautiful shade as well. It does go on a lot different than it is in the pan. That's what I've noticed about these is that don't let the pan fool you. They are beautiful on the skin. And then the other one that seems to be very the most popular shade is um, Mood Exposure. So this is what this one looks like. And I did go through a phase where I was using this a lot too. When I go back and look at these, I'm like, I need to use these again. So those are my three hourglass ones. And then um, I also have two blushes from The Balm. I'm trying to like restack these again as I show you. And I love these blushes. I have um, the Bombs Hot Mama and the Bombs Cabana Boy. Um, it took me such a long time to decide which blushes I really wanted from the Balm, but I have used these quite a few times. This one is Hot Mama. I definitely love this. It is so beautiful on the cheeks. And these last a pretty long time too. And then this one is Cabana Boy. I do leave it in the full packaging, so I have to like push it out and show it to you. So it's Oh, geez, that's what it looks like. And then it looks like that. Such a beautiful, like, mauve pink color. It is really, really pretty. I love that color. Why do I have to drop everything? Like, it's just, it's amazing how clumsy I am. It's amazing, you know? <laughs> I lift these things off, but it's really like, um, you're an idiot, Caitlin. <laughs> so, um, the next ones are... Four blushes from Tarte. I have them in a stack right here. The first one is the, they're all the Amazonian clay blushes. I mean, those are the only ones Tarte's, Tarte makes are the Amazonian clay blushes. So this one is called uh, Exposed. It's like a beautiful, neutral um, mauve brown. It's such a unique shade. I feel like nobody else makes a shade like this. It is really, really pretty on the skin. 
This is definitely one of their more popular colors as well. My hair is pissing me off, sorry. Then the next one I have is um, Blissful. These two I got off of Tarte.com when they were running like a 20% off or 30% off or something. So it was a pretty good deal to get these for a discount. And that's what this one looks like. And that's what the color looks like. It's like a corally peach. Definitely love that. I have worn these quite a few times. I wore exposed for like almost a straight week when I first got it. And then the other two I have is um, Fearless. This one's more of like a peachy pink color. And then the other one I have is a baby doll pink and that one is Doll Face. I definitely love this. I got this because of Adrian Andrea Matiliano. She loves that blush so I wanted to get it. And then... I think I'm down to the last ones already. Am I already down to my Becca blushes? Oh, I do have ColourPop ones too that I am dropping like a dumbass. <sighs> Sorry, I'm trying to get out my Becca ones for you. I have to clean this up after I'm done showing this to you because this is a mess. <laughs> like a freaking mess. Okay, and then I also have four Becca blushes. I know that these are very expensive, but these are basically like my favorite colors. Like I have my Holy Grail blush in here, and I just love Becca blushes. I think that they're amazing. So the four that I have are Wild Honey. Songbird, Flower Child, and Nightingale. I'm going to show you all four of them. So Wild Honey, as you guys know, is my favorite blush of all time. I just love it. It goes with everything. I think it's so perfect for the fall, especially. I wear this so much. I'm so glad I picked this up because I've used it countless times and I absolutely love it. So that's definitely my top favorite. And then the other one that I love is Songbird. This is definitely my go-to blush before I picked up Wild Honey. It is a little bit shattered, so I'm just going to show it to you like this. But it's a gorgeous, like, glittery, um, very pigmented blush. But it doesn't look glittery on the cheeks. It just looks beautiful. And then the other one I have, of course, is a pink color. And this one is Flower Child. It is a gorgeous peachy pink color. I love that. I feel like I have to use this again at some point. And then the other one I have is this beautiful color for the fall, and this one is called Nightingale. I did pick this up recently. I wanted to get something a little bit more adventurous for the fall time, and I have worn it a few times, and it's so pigmented, but it's so beautiful. This is why I love Becca products, because their cheek products, they're, they do it right. Like, they really do. And then the other blushes that I have are from ColourPop. And I have two of them. I have, well, actually I have four, but I'm, the other ones are in a blush palette. So I have two single ones. Why can't I, like, actually show you the actual blush? Like, where is the blush? There it is. These are the two blushes I have. One of them is Between the Sheets, and the other one is Prenub. Um, Between the Sheets is much more um, nude. And then um, Prenup is more of a pink color. I love ColourPop blushes. I think that these are great. And then the last ones that I have are these ones in this blush palette. This one is called, um, I think, what is this? Tongue Tied. It's like a gorgeous orangey color. And then this one is a pinky color. And this one is called Hysterical. I never end up using these, and I don't really have to show you what they look like. And then I have a couple of blush palettes, but I have, like, this Feeling Dandy blush set from my sister that she got for me for Christmas. It is beautiful, but I'm not going to open it because it has the Dandelion blush from Benefit, which you guys know what, what that looks like. And then the other blush palette I have is this uh, Naked palette, obviously, and there's a blush in here, and this one is called Naked Streak. So that is the blush in here, and I think that's pretty much all of them, right? I'm pretty sure I'm not missing any. I really thought I had more than what I'm showing you. 
Um, yeah, I think that's everything. So please like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, CW819, and my Twitter is PokerFace819. And thanks, guys. Bye.